Hello there, you're watching VLAN Miniatures. I just uploaded two new STL files on my Patreon, which are these two miniatures. Uh, follow the link in the description and print them yourself. Then you can paint along in this video. The only thing I've done so far is to give these a senatal base coat with gray and white from above using regular uh, primary spray cans. I'm starting out with a little bit of white uh, from above just to boost up the highlights a little bit and yeah I'm applying this with a dry brush uh, or stippling and dry brushing yes. you know when doing 3d prints you can see a little bit of the 3d lines and if you dry brush them they will actually become more visible so a good way to hide it is just to stipple instead of uh, dry brush when you get to areas where the uh, where the lines are too visible I want to shade the body with some contrast paints, and here I'm using Wildwood and some of the contrast medium. I'm going to go quite heavy on the medium, I think, uh, as I don't want it to turn uh, completely brown. I just want to have some shadows and... Yeah, of course this did turn completely brown, so... Let's try to fix it. When painting like this you need to be quite fast because uh, I'm going to wipe away some of the paint from the from the surface and that's not going to work if uh, uh, if like the paint has started to dry or like started to attach itself to the surface so I need to do this fairly quickly. I'm wiping the surface with, uh, with a paper towel uh, Trying to focus this on the raised areas where I don't want any shadow, so I'm basically here drying away uh, the highlights. I want the body to appear a bit oily and, and weird, so I'm going to add some streaks running down it with the wildwood again. Maybe something coming from the big head. While waiting for the body to dry, I used the wildwood on the head and the base too. The head is going to be metal, uh, it's carrying around the statue on its head. And yeah, the ground just needed to be a bit darker, so... When I already had the wildwood on the brush. Anyway, uh, now I'm going to add some highlights to the body. I'm using some quite watered down, uh, very thin, pure white for this. Probably going to take some layers uh, and yeah, doing a little bit of stippling and some edge highlighting or like layering. But I'd like to give the skin a little bit of a rough texture, so I'm stippling it over some areas too. With just wildwood contrast paint and white, these are starting to look quite gnarly and decaying, so very unhealthy looking skin tone, which is what I was going for. Uh, I want the heads or like the statues and the halos to be very, uh, very shiny, uh, gold, but a little bit decayed as well, or like rusty. Uh, so yeah, gonna start dry brushing some metals. So here I'm starting with a very dark gold or like a brass gold, and this is over brown. Uh, I did wash the entire head with wildwood again, but I also went over it with um, a little bit of dried bark because wildwood is a little bit shiny and I want like the shadows here to be more matte so a brown paint is better. This first gold dry brush is uh, this one, Balthazar Gold. The second dry brush is Retributor Armor which is my favorite uh, gold paint because it's very very bright and much more yellow than this first layer, which is much more reddish brown. I'm focusing this color more on the raised area, so I'm dry brushing lighter than on the previous, uh, previous layer. The final highlight is Runefang Steel, which I'm dry brushing and kind of edge highlighting on the very top, so. I don't want to cover too much of the gold because I want this to look gold and not silver, but it's nice to have it on the sharpest edges as it's much more reflective than the gold. 
also on this face in here, which is a little hard to reach. Uh, I'm using this just as a simple layering or a simple edge highlight. Even though I want the metal to be quite shiny, I want to tone it down a little bit, so I'm adding some washes. Uh, here I'm using sepia and camo green. I really like using colored washes over metals as it gives it uh, an extra dimension. Especially green works really well with gold. Sepia too, of course, because it has a very uh, like warm brown finish to it. While waiting for the washes on the gold to dry, I'm moving over to do a little bit on the base. And here I'm just slapping down some orange brown and orange. So I want the bases to be quite striking as the rest of the miniature is very monochrome and yeah, not very colorful. So it's so it's fun to experiment a little bit with the basing. I want the bushes to look a little bit like flowers, so I'm uh, just dabbing the tips with uh, some white paint. I want to break up the gold a little bit, so I'm adding some watered down lupercal green over it. It's a little bit of oxidation. I think I'm going to focus this in the shadows, uh, just to have a little difference so that it's darker and colder in the shadows. and you know, brighter and warmer on the on the highlights. And there we have it, quick and effective. If you would like to paint these yourself and follow this tutorial, then check out the link in the description to join my Patreon and download these STL files for 3D printing. If you do print and paint these, or convert them, use them for anything, then please let me know uh, or tag me on any of the social media so that I can have a look. I would love to see what you do with them. Thanks a lot for watching, goodbye.